people standing in here. Yep. Custer State Park has a weekly park license that you can buy. It's $20 per vehicle or $10 for motorcycles. There is also an annual pass, which is just $30 for the first vehicle, $15 if you want a second one. This map in the visitor center is where they can tell you where buffalo have been spotted for the day. So the different ranger stations contact each other and in the main visitor center they use that map to show where the buffalo herds have been spotted for the day. The visitor center is really interactive. It's really nice to bring kids there. It tells you all about the different areas of the park and the things that there are to do there. There's always multiple rangers on site and they will answer any questions that you have. One of the coolest things for kids is the rock wall there is to climb. And one of the coolest things for the adults and the kids is watching the film that they have that shows the history of the area and gives an idea of what there is to see and experience while you're in Custer. So there are several different ways to get into Custer State Park. We came in originally for this visit uh, through the main entrance, which is Highway 16A, and that brought us to the visitor center. But Iron Mountain Road, which is what you're seeing video, footage of now, goes between Custer State Park and Keystone. And here you can see you can get a, a glimpse from far away of Mount Rushmore. And you get several more glimpses of Mount Rushmore on Iron Mountain Road. It's an extremely steep drive, uh, both going up and coming back down the other side. Uh, lots of narrow tunnels like this one. But it's a really, really beautiful drive to take to go from Custer State Park to the town of Keystone. Another view of Mount Rushmore coming through the tunnel. So you definitely want to do this in some form whether you're coming from Keystone back to Custer State Park or from the State Park to Keystone it's a good way uh, time to go over there maybe eat lunch at Keystone a lot of different options of ways to move in and around Custer State Park when you visit but it, it's just beautiful just to drive through in nice weather roll the windows down and enjoy the time in nature
Hills Highway is another unique drive through Custer State Park. We always get on Needles Highway just past Sylvan Lake. And it is a beautiful drive. You roll the windows down. You can look at all of the stone rock spires that are everywhere. The rock formations are beautiful. There are a lot of hiking trails that go through the spires also. And it's just a beautiful drive up, up and into the park. So the Wildlife Loop Road is probably the thing that Custer State Park is most known for for people who just want to go see the park because of the extreme amount of wildlife that you can see. It basically takes the southern half of the park and you just drive through it. As we mentioned earlier, you could find out at the visitor center where the buffaloes are. These are the donkeys that are, uh, you can get out and feed them, you can pet them, they'll follow you everywhere. But there's just an amazing amount of wildlife to see there. Um, you can see we've seen buffalo several different times driving through here. There are spots where you can stop and see prairie dogs. And so if you just want to see the animals, you just go and drive wildlife for Loop Road and you'll get a great view of basically everything that lives. So we've been to Custer State Park a few times now since we've lived here for two years and we have a lot of pictures so if you want to see a lot of pictures just keep watching um, if not thanks for watching um, we're glad that you guys are here and we are so happy about us reaching 200 subscribers and we will see you guys